So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can combine multiple files in a folder when the files have inconsistent table names and inconsistent column heading names. So I've got a folder here set up and it's just got two files in it just as a simple example. And I'm just going to open those both up and take a look at what's inside. So here's file one and here's the data I'm interested in importing. And so we've got a column here called common and a column called a and the table name is data table and we've got some other stuff in here that we're not interested in and then in file 2 I've got the same common fold uh, common column heading and I've got another column called B and that table is called my data table and we've also got some other stuff in here so i'm going to close those two and i'm just going to copy this folder path containing those files and the usual way to import and combine files in a folder with power query is in the data tab if you go to de get data and from file and from folder that's going to allow you to combine multiple files from a folder so let's just pop in our path there and press ok and see what happens so power query has listed out the two files that i have in that folder and we can combine those using this combine button so we can combine and edit combine and load or combine and load to but I'm going to use combine and edit because I want to see what Power Query does with this in the Power Query editor and I don't want to load it to uh, the workbook yet. So Power Query is going to try and combine the files based on a sample file. So you can pick the sample file that you're going to use. And the problem is whichever one we pick we're going to have to navigate to the table we want to import. And if we pick file one, our table is called data table. And if we pick file two, our table is called my data table. So let's just go with file one and press OK. And let's see what we've got. So we've got a bunch of sample stuff based on our sample file. And then we've got the query that tries to combine those files based on our sample. And we can see what happens is the first file, we get some data. And in the second file, we get an error because it's trying to find the table called data table. And that file doesn't have such a table. So it turns out we can't use the from folder query to combine files with inconsistent data. So I'm going to close this query and discard that. Now let's see what happens when we just try and import one workbook. So let's go to the data tab, get data from file and from workbook this time. And we can select any of those workbooks and import. And then we can select our data table in this file. And let's go to the edit, the query editor. And let's take a look at our applied steps. So we got to change data type. We can just delete that. We don't need that. And then we get this navigate step. So let's just look at the source step before that. And we can see that we've listed out all the table objects and sheet objects in our workbook. And then this navigate step has just navigated to that one particular uh, table. So I'm going to delete that navigation step. And let's take a look at the M code that Power Query has produced for the source data. So here we can see the path and file name of the file that we're importing. And then we're using the file.contents formula to get the contents of that file. 
and then we're using the excel.workbook formula to get a list of all the tables and sheet names in that workbook. So I'm just going to copy that and we're going to use that in conjunction with the folder query to get exactly what we want. So I'm going to again close this and discard it. And let's go back to the data tab and get data from file and again from folder. So let's just paste in our folder path and press OK. And then we got a listing of our files again, but this time instead of combining the files, we're just going to go to edit. And now we've got a list of the folder path along with the file name. And so we can use that formula from our single workbook import to get a list of all the tables and sheets in the folder. So I'm going to add a column, custom column. And let's call this workbook objects. And I'm just going to paste in that formula from my single workbook import. And now instead of this hard-coded stuff in here, I'm just going to delete that. So that's the folder path and file name. And what we're going to do is reference our folder path column and our file name column. And we're going to concatenate those together with a couple ampersands and a slash in between them. So now if we press OK, what we get is a table in each of those rows, and that table contains uh, rows of data for our sheets and table names. So let's just expand that out and press OK. And let's scroll over and see what we have. So we've got a list of all the table names and sheet names from those workbooks in our folder now. And so we can filter on just our tables. So let's select just our tables. And then we've got four tables in our two workbooks, but we're only interested in our data table and our my table, my data table. So we can press OK. And so however many files and tables you have that you want to import, there's going to be a bit of manual work in filtering on those particular tables. And once we're done filtering, we can then expand our data in the table. So this column here contains the data in those tables. So if we expand out that column, just make sure expand is selected and press OK. Then we get our data in those tables. So notice that here I've got the data for my first files table. And then here I've got the data from column B in my second file. So I'm just going to select all these columns. And I'm also going to select the folder path maybe and the file name. And then if I right click can remove the other columns. And now we've got all the data that we want combined and we're ready to just go into the home tab, close and load, and close and load that to the workbook. And I'm gonna put this in the existing sheet and press OK. So there we go. That's how we can combine files in a folder when those files have inconsistent table names and column headings as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button 
and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on Power Query and Excel in general. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.